Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PLX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Going back to the whole 30 minute thing and, and the story, especially in this case, I say that because again, like I said, each of these is 30 minutes and I bring that up because check out the final 30 minutes here. Last 30 minutes of the day and going into the week, absolutely huge volume and then a nice little interesting candle here. Now, don't get me wrong, there's no such thing as a guarantee. I wish the market was this easy. I wish I could sit here and say that because there is huge volume and you know this hammer candle that formed, that this thing is headed up to you know 45 cents on Monday guaranteed. No such thing as a guarantee. Now, would I be shocked to see some sort of upwards price movement on Monday? I would not be shocked, but again, no such thing as a guarantee. That's why you know risk management is always you know at the forefront of any sort of trading plan, but definitely a very kind of a hmm type setup. And I like hmm type setups because you never know what may happen. So let's map out a couple levels of support. And I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence, just, you know, but this is why I like charts. It makes things very common, commonsensical. And that's right here at 29 cents. If this is indeed some sort of bottom, well then 29 cents needs to hold, right? Because if 29 cents doesn't hold and the price falls below it, well then this isn't the bottom. And if this is a bottom, which would be some sort of bullish move, well then, you know, bullishness is not put in new lows. So like I said, very, hopefully as you're like, well, thanks, yeah, thanks Captain Obvious, exactly. So 29 cents, that's kind of just the first obvious step is, well, yeah, if this is some sort of bottom, well then it needs to be the bottom, 29 cents needs to hold. Now in the event there is some sort of bounce, let's map out a couple of potential battlegrounds of resistance. First initial area of resistance and any sort of bounce gonna call right up here at approximately the 36 cent level. And then after 36, almost kind of like a little miniature resistance zone, 36 up to 39. So 36 to 39, kind of call this a little resistance zone right here. But if the bulls can get above there and start to get some closes above it, then at that point, the chart would take quite an interesting, um, it, it look very, very interesting and very, very attractive. So one step at a time, first got to, you know, just bounce in the first place. But as it stands right now, uh, interesting setup going into next week. So we'll see what happens with it. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.